All right, let's go on to another one. Um, these are 15 minute fast speed paints. This is, we already did a, a skull. I did this uh, kind of cliff. And let's see what we're going to do next. I'm going to, again, start this where it's a blank slate. I'll come over here to my reference and I'm going to turn on, let's try this one. This is a foggy beach. Are we ready? All right. Starting the 15 minute timer in three, two, one, go. All right, 15 minutes, here we go. First thing I wanna do is get rid of white. So I am actually going to fill this whole thing. I'm gonna start this one and fill it with black. And now I'm going to make a selection here with my marquee selection tool so I can match this widescreen effect. And I'm just gonna hold that on so that when I go to paint, um, it will only paint inside of that. Okay, let's see what I see first. First, I'm gonna find the color of that sky, which is a desaturated, not very desaturated, not that saturated, probably more like this. Uh, how's this? Let's get those, just gonna paint really fast to try to get that shape and these tones in here. So I don't mind this color when I paint it over black too much. So I can like try to get, here's the, the cliff and the sand of the beach. This is a place called Face Rock Beach in Oregon. I lived in Oregon for three and a half years, loved it there. It was an amazing place and going out to the coast was just magical. I grew up in Florida and so I had lots and lots of beach time. But to me, the beach looks the same all over the world. I like mountains better than better than beaches. I know some of you will probably be like, what? But I like, I like cold weather and I like mountains. And so if I'm going to enjoy a beach, I want it to be in a place like Oregon where I can have the mountains right on the beach. And I think that's cool. Okay, what I'm trying to do is, again, not see little details. I'm trying to not see a beach. I'm trying to see big, colors. Try to find these bigger tones of light. So there's this shape, this shape, and then there's some misty stuff that's happening back here. I'm trying to get those two shapes in and then the shapes of these cliffs. A lot of mist. This is at sunrise and it was just magic. Nobody else out there. I had the whole beach to myself. Oh, I want to share a, a trick for anybody who wants to do photography. The key, the magic ingredient to good photography and the good light and a nice experience is being willing to get up really, really early in the morning. I know it's painful getting out of bed, but boy, if you can get out there for sunrise, there's no one else around and you have all of these locations all to yourself. You can photograph them, you can do paint studies there, you can do whatever you want in this beautiful morning light and no one's around. You can wait for sunset, but then there'll be lots of people. So I always prefer sunrise when it comes to photography and anything outdoor art, plein air type of painting. That's my tip of the day. I'm thinking I'd like to do if I can find the time, I'd like to do a whole thing about photography for artists as well. I find it really important in my career. There's a lot of artists who, who don't do photography and I think it's important. Oh no, that's gonna be too strong, isn't it? Yep, I need to stay in this. My relative color video, I wanna make something look like kind of warm sand, so I'm just gonna desaturate and lean a little bit this way. Look at that. It looks like orange, even though it's totally a blue type color. There's just a little bit of tone through here that feels more warm. Up here, it feels a little bit green. So I'm going to do the same thing, lean towards cyan and paint in some stuff that'll feel, oh, this one, I have to lean a little bit more. There we go, there's some stuff that feels like the foliage on that cliff.
All right, I am 10 minutes in. Blur my eyes and see how well I'm doing. I think there's a lot more. Not too pleased with my sky yet. Just to get some of those buildings in there to feel the shapes of these. This guy is very, very flat. Totally fogged over with morning mist from the ocean. Also, I'm not getting these shapes very well. This cliff, it looks like some sort of creature sitting and leaning over. Atmospheric perspective. So I can see the distance because the fog gets thicker and thicker as it goes off into the distance. I'm going to lean this this way. And this, there's a lot of atmospheric perspective in this. Oh, I leaned it too far. It still feels kind of purpley back there. I'm just putting an ever so slight hint of color. make this more interesting. Scribbles, scribbles, lots and lots of scribbles. So as the waves kind of came up, they make the sand really wet. And the edges of the sand pick up more highlights of the sky, reflections of the sky, than where it starts to dry out, and which makes it darker. Have you ever noticed that things when they're wet, they look darker. Most things. Rocks, definitely. And there are some really dark things in here too. I need to make, I need to make sure I represent this line of seaweed and these rocks over here that have a good amount of dark in them, as well as just a little bit in this cliff. Scribble scribbles. Eight minutes left. And there is this darker water here, but I want it to feel, it looks like it's reflecting a little bit more warm. So I'm gonna do the same trick. Lean a little bit, desaturate, and now this will feel like warm-ish reflections in water. It's not actually going all the way to the warm tones. And then it really helps to have that like lighter rim color. So make a smaller brush just to like, it's going to catch that water line. Just a scribble of that helps say, yep, that's where the edge of the water is, or this, this pool here wraps around. And there's some like water back up in here. I could tell that I will, in order to make this a really pretty painting, I will need more than the 15 minutes, but Am I finding all those colors right off quickly enough? The, re the reflection of this shape kind of follows down through the water. So I'm going to scribble in some of those like little micro waves that are in this water imply that there's little ripples kind of working their way across. And then these just kind of do this type of thing. It's going to give the a little bit of the feel. It's sort of coming along. There's a lot of very abstract things in this uh, photograph to try to capture. This rock. It's a little bit closer to the camera. The closer things are when you're in fog, atmospheric perspective, so the, the atmosphere in the air, the moisture in the air is going to make levels of black disappear. So uh, the closer it is to camera, the blacker the blacks can be, which tells your eye that it's closer to camera. You can tell right off there's no pure black way back here 
and there is black here because these are much, much closer to camera. There's less atmosphere, making atmospheric perspective. And so it feels, it gives you clues. There are clues as to how depth works. Okay, there's a nice hard line along the edge of some of these shapes. So I'm making my brush smaller to try to get those edges in that make this distinct. I always start with a really big brush and then work my way down to smaller brushes. And I have not done a good job of trying to get the shapes of all of these rock structures. But that's okay. This is that first, first 15 minutes. Sit back and blur my eyes. There's definitely more purple in this. I, I have more of a green tone, so I'm going to try making my brush bigger. Oh, four minutes remaining. You know what I need to do? I think I need to work on this, this portion I've not done as well. When I zoom back and say, what's the most important part of all of this? And I'm like, I didn't get that building very well. I need to get something in there. I also didn't get the uh, the little lights that were helped define this, uh, that it's early morning. I need to get something in right about, I'm gonna do a little tiny glow. Well, maybe it's like this. Ding. Make this brighter. Ding. There's a little dot of light there and there's another little dot down here i'm going to three minutes left just kind of carve out a little bit of these shapes mine doesn't match very well but i kind of like this wider building type of look if there's little windows along here darker interpretive something there's little bushes and shrubs coming down to the last three minutes I don't feel too bad about this. This is a good start, 15 minute study. And two minutes, I think I need to get some of the shape of that cliff. There's another building back here. Just get some of those shapes. We look for contrast, so wherever there's hard lines, it's gonna help read as, now that's a building, now that's, that's some shape back through here. Two minutes remaining. You know, the last thing that I want is a little bit lighter on this beach here, like right about here. This helps you see the the layering. Ah, uh, mine, well, eh. Looking where my eye is looking for contrast. Contrast in any last colors. Maybe right here, and a little right here. How about that? What do you think? Did I do okay? Give this a try, see, see how, see what you think. Um, with this painting or this photograph and see if uh, See what you think minute left uh, there's some more kind of contrast and some I'm gonna go for that same tone here and do a little bit of light along the edge of this beach the sand as it goes off Working against the clock squeeze in as much as I can in that 15 minutes. You, I, you do a lot of these, you'll learn so much so fast. And it won't take much time because you're only given 15 minutes to each of them. This is definitely a great way to proceed. Little lines in the sand. Kind of vignette this corner with a little bit of darkness. Vignette is that kind of like the edge of frame, it's gonna kind of frame the whole thing. Just 
scribble in some of those little details of the rock and the blacks that can kind of come up off the frame here. Just imply texture. 30 seconds left. What last things would I do in my last little bits? I'm just blurring my eye and looking for places that need contrast, light or dark. And a little bit more light here. 15 seconds left. A little bit of line of light. Oh, there. Five seconds left. Two, one, and there we go. Well, there we, it's not perfect, but there's my third painting. So I will stop here and look for part four.